The investigation continues over poisonous hot dogs found along trails in Pocatello. Local News 8 reporter Cole Sam spoke with one family whose dog ate one of those hot dogs and died. In December, Nicholas Dumkey took his four dogs on a hike in the Corral Creek area. Everything seemed fine until he got home, where they discovered the family's dog, Much, was in pain. Later that night, we noticed she was really sore. Um, and she was a little bit older, but not that old. But, um, so we just figured she pulled something. But the next day, Mudge was vomiting. And when they took her to the vet, they could not have predicted what would happen next. They told us everything was looking good in her, um, her, with her blood, except for elevated kidney levels. Um, X-rays looked good, and they said, you should be able to pick her up by the end of the day. And they called us, like, what, 15 minutes later and said, you have to come say goodbye. It was that fast. The veterinarian told the family Mudge may have accidentally ingested medication. They weren't even thinking that that was a possibility until seeing news that ibuprofen laced hot dogs have been found on other trails in the community. I immediately called the sheriff's department and spoke with them and he was pretty certain that's what happened was she consumed one of those hot dogs and we didn't see. And because we didn't see, we weren't able to get it out of her fast enough and once it's in them, there's not much you can do. For Cassie Dumkey, she says their dogs are her life, and Mudge was a huge part of the family. Mudge was really important to me. She uh, got me into waterfowl hunting and was a seasoned hunting retriever and was extremely well behaved. She used to go to work with me every single day. She was just a really great canine citizen. With all that has happened, Dumkey says they are scared to go back out there. It's been absolutely heartbreaking, and we're terrified to take our dogs out on trails. Now we're worried that another when another one of our dogs could easily eat a hot dog without us knowing. The Bannock County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation into who placed the hot dogs on the trails. To help out with the investigation, Dunkey started a GoFundMe page to help raise money. And while police can't legally take the money, they are in contact with the family whenever they get a legitimate tip on the case. We just need one person to have a small leader, a, a good enough tip to help the sheriff's department with their investigation. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Cole Sams. As of today, that GoFundMe page has raised more than $8,000 of its $10,000 goal. If you have any information about this case, contact the Bannock County Sheriff's Office at 208-236-7123.